Hi, welcome to Storytime on Earth Day. Today I'm going to be reading D the Bee, written and illustrated by Dolores Kevney. Dedicated to the Bees If I were a bee, I'd pollinate and play in the fruits, the herbs, and veggies we eat every day. I'd pollinate the apples, the peaches, the plums, and the berries. The limes, the lemons, and the grapes, the pears, the rhubarb, and the cherries. I'd pollinate the turnips, the pumpkins, and the peppers. The chestnuts leeks and onions, the radishes and cucumbers. I'd pollinate the Brussels sprouts, the cabbage and the celery, the nuts, the spices and the beans, the carrots and the broccoli. If I were out collecting food, I'd never make a sound. I'd pick up pollen on my legs and spread it all around. When the pollen drops inside the flower, it mingles with the seed. This is how you get the fruit. It's magical indeed. So now you see, it's down to me to pollinate all these. You'll not have any fruit to eat if you haven't got the bees. Yes, it's me. My name is Dee. I am a little honeybee. Pollination, pollination, pollination. A very big word for consideration. Just look down below. Read easily and slow and you'll get the full explanation. As the bee visits a flower to collect food, pollen from stamens stick to its body. The bee then flies to another flower of the same type. Pollen on the bee's body sticks to a pistil of the new flower. This is how it works. First, there's the root system. All plants have a root system. The root system of a plant grows as the plant grows. It is connected to the stem of the plant that carries water and nourishment from the soil into the root and to the stem. The stem also has tissue called meristem which contains dividing cells, and they produce shoots. A sepal is found in flowering plants. They're like small offshoots that tend to be green. Their job is to protect the flower buds and support for the petals when they bloom. Filaments exist to carry nutrients to the anther, where pollen develops. After the flower opens, the lengthening filaments facilitate access to the anthers and pollinating agents like bees. The anther holds the pollen grains that is released when it opens. Petals aren't just the prettiest part. They're there to attract animals and insects such as the bee. Have you ever noticed in your garden, bees are always buzzing around the flowers? The ovaries contain the ovules that develop into seeds when they're fertilized. The style transports the pollen. The stigma is where the pollen falls. It holds the pollen. Plant these flowers in your garden to welcome in the bees. 
delphinium, red clover, purple cone flower, lavender, vetch, foxglove, poppies, dandelion, budalea, bluebell, sunflower, and the black-eyed Susie. The end. And don't forget, look for the bees in your garden. Don't be afraid. Either walk away slowly or stand still and watch them. It's really very interesting what the bees do.